Okay guys, I'm coming today to show you how to remove one of these tracks on a TRX uh, Altoids mower. Um, tools you're going to need is a 916 socket and a 78 socket and an air impact if you have one or uh, whatever you can use to break them bolts loose and those bolts loose. So. Step one, get your tools set out. Step two is get it jacked up, which I've already got it jacked up. So let me get the camera set up and get those bolts broke loose. And then I'll uh, get back with you and show you the next step. Okay guys, once you get all the bolts removed, uh, what you want to do is um, start with the bottom piece first. You want to move, remove this piece first. So make sure that this black uh, sticker is on top. And then you just uh, pull this piece out first, set it aside. And then you want to rotate your track. Like so, and then remove this piece, and there you go. You can pull your track out. Um, you know, this one's a little tougher because it's newer, but anyway, you'll be able to pull your track out, um, and then you just reverse the steps to put it back on. Once you get your pull this track off, put your new one back on. You start with this uh, plate first with a sticker, and get it set in there and this is where two people kind of come in hand handy anyways All right, so now, now that I got this piece on, you wanna turn your mower on and rotate your wheel to where this piece will go up and down. 
So let me do that real quick. It's gonna be a little noisy. This piece on it goes on pretty easy and then you just basically um, put all your bolts back on and that really is pretty much it just uh, tighten it back up and your uh, track will be like new again so it, it's a pretty easy process um, like I say it's better if you have two people because you can kind of work with each other and um, kind of coordinate on rotating and on as far as the track. But I mean, like I say, you could see that I done it by myself and uh, you know, it wasn't that bad of a deal, especially if the tracks are wore out, It'd probably be a little easier to remove. It's gonna be a little noisy. So that part's done, and then you just sorry my guns acting up a little bit. Come on. There we go. Alright. Well then you just put your bolts in here. say if uh if you have to do this by yourself i mean it's about you know about a 10 to 15 minute job by yourself i mean you can if you have two people you could probably get it done in maybe five to ten if you're lucky you know once you guys know what you're doing it's but like i say you don't have to do this very often <laughs> luckily but i wanted to make this video for people that's never done it um, so they're aware of how to do it because I know Altoids they don't put these videos out and it would be nice to be able to know how to do this to work on your own mower especially to replace these tracks the video um, if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to subscribe go ahead and subscribe and I'll try to have some more videos if I have to work on anything else on these um, if you have any comments feel free to comment on the video below but other than that that's all I got and then you just basically unjack your or drop your track or your mower and you're good to go so that concludes the video. Thanks.